Good morning, my friends. So today, we are going to talk about another enemy of sheep. And we're going to be looking for how the enemy of sheep that we talk about today, which is the lion, how we can see how some of the things that a lion does might look a little bit like what some of the people around us sometimes do. How the enemy of a sheep, the lion, can be seen in our daily life too. Not an actual lion, but maybe someone around us who kind of acts like a lion -y. Yeah, that's a word. I just made that up. Today in our devotion, we are going to read 1 Peter 5, 8, and 9. And so I have my Bible right here. I have got it opened up to 1 Peter chapter 5, and I have my finger on verses 8 and 9. You press pause on your end and grab a Bible and see if you can find it on your end too. It's going to be towards the back. So this is the front of the Bible and this is the back of the Bible. You can see how thin this is compared to this. So it's going to be towards the back of your Bible. If you don't have a Bible handy, no worries. Don't worry about it, my friend. Um, I will read it here in just a few moments. But if you do have a Bible, go ahead and find that. And if you don't have a Bible in your home at all, I would love for you to contact me because I want to make sure that you have a Bible. Every single household should have a Bible. So if you don't have one, you let me know. For the rest of us though, we're gonna press pause, we're gonna find it, and then we're gonna come on back, okay? I'll wait patiently. All right, are we ready? Great, so 1 Peter chapter 5, verses eight and nine say, be self-controlled and alert, your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith, because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings. Ooh, prowling around like a roaring lion. Let's see what our devotion says to us today. Be on your guard and keep awake, the Bible warns us. Because your enemy, the devil, is like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. That means eat up. It goes on to say, the way to resist the devil is by standing firm in your faith, trusting your good shepherd and following him closely. The shepherd David once said that in order to protect his flock, he had killed a lion. He didn't say how. He probably didn't have to. He had his shepherd's rod and staff and sling too. We'll learn about that next week. Oh gosh, I'm so excited already. So when the devil roars like a lion, tempting you, run to your good shepherd. Jesus will protect you. That's right, my friends. All right, that's a great thing for us to leave on today, I think, that Jesus will protect us. I love you, my friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.